So tell us about this book and uh, what was the inspiration behind it? The inspiration, I've always read, I've always read, um, I, I was brought up and my, my, my dad always had two books on the go and encouraged me to read, so I always read books um, and grew up reading the greats, the classics, the, 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 the Thomas Hardy's Test of the Dove, it was the tragic story, the, um, Charles Dickens' Oliver Twist is fascinating, very, uh, Oliver, Oliver meets the Artful Dodger in a little market town outside of London called Islington. Um, the Lorry Lees, um, all that classic old stuff that I really loved, and that sort of grew into your William Boyd's, Billy Lee Childs, uh, Peter James, and but I never really read a book that that was reflected me, and I, I only wrote this book for me and my interests, and I've got a big passion for boxing. Uh, I never boxed, but I've always. I trained in boxing clubs in and around London, in and around here. Uh, still do. Oh, it's, 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 it's mutated slightly to uh, Thai boxing. I do now, but I've always boxed and I always hung around that scene. Did you have many fights? Were you semi-pro or what, what were you? No, I never boxed. I, no. I only I only ever trained in boxing clubs. Yeah. I never. I sparred. Done a lot of sparring, but never actually boxed. But. Um, just like the train, love the sport, mm -hmm. um, and always followed it since I was a kid. So that, that gave you the kind of inspiration to your your main character in the, the in the book is is a boxer. Yeah, he's a boxer. Uh, he's he's at his local um, club. He's never going to get very far until he changes his his trainer because his trainer's aligned to his brother as a promoter, but the big promoter, the Eddie Hearn type figure. Is the only one who can get in the fights, and he won't while he's with the other promoter. So he he decides to go to the big promoter, and just when it starts going well for him, his lifelong friend uh, gets hit upon by the local big crime family for protection money. Joe, the boxer, tries to sort his friend's problems out for him with the head of the crime family. It goes spectacularly wrong and he has to go on the run, uh, um, basically ending his boxing career through an injury sustained at the time. And he goes on the run to Spain, where he plots his revenge and comes back to carry, carry on and, and literally go after the head of the stake. So it's kind of like a, is it like a vengeance thing, retribution? Yeah, tale? it's 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 vengeance. It's, it's, he, he's, he has his lifestyle taken away from him mm -hmm. from no fault of his own, from looking after a mate of his. And there's a lot of twists and turns and, and a bit of betrayal goes on in it. And he goes after the man that's basically ended his boxing career. Mm. Violent thriller, uh, action thriller, well, how would you describe it? It's very violent in bits. It's, uh, it, the language is, um, yeah, it's, it's colourful. But it's, it's, but it's how people speak, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you don't have a gangster turning up to, to threaten someone and say, I'll flipping kill you, you whatever. It, it's, it's the real, it's how we speak in pubs, it's how people speak in that world and in those, in those situations. I mean, bless uh, Cass' aunt is 88 and she, she, out of loyalty, she bought a copy of the book, she went, oh, I don't think I'll read it. Well, after getting it for a few pages, but she's not really my demographic, <laughs> no. to be honest. So, so who would this appeal to? Me. I wrote it for me, yeah. with my brother in mind as well. Um, that it's the sort of the sort of um, the Irish, the boxing community, the uh, the London Irish, the London thing. Um, you go back to the books are like the Brendan Behans, the the films are like the states, of, the state of Grace, Sean Penn's. It's it. it I, as I say, I wrote it for me because there wasn't anything there that really appeared. I thought I'll write a book for me. I Google book, boxing crime books, boxing for years and never really got anything. So I thought, I'm just going to write something. And I wrote it and I thought if one other person likes it, it'll be a touch, but I'm going to read it. And fortunately, a few people like it. I mean, a lot of people nowadays are kind of like reading books is, is almost sort of slightly out of fashion. I mean, what, what would inspire someone to, to pick this book up? Um, the lockdown, <laughs> part of yeah. um, I, I, I just think if you want to buzz, it's not a long book, it, it, it's a five, six hour read, um, it, it's a page turner, mm -hmm. if you want to break from, I'm a celebrity and 
Boris Johnson, it's it's good to get your head into something else. Yeah, absolutely. I'll go along with that. <laughs> absolutely. So, um, what, what what are your aspirations for this book? Do you think it'll it'll do well? Well, having got to where it's at now, and the fact that people like it, it's got some five star reviews on Amazon already. It's only just out <laughs> um, from people I don't even know. Um, so, and a couple of people I know, to be fair, but they I trust these people. They ain't putting it on there for no reason, <laughs> and that I I. I wrote it, and as I wrote it, I wrote it seeing it as a television series or even a film. Um, I looked, my next thing was to look into maybe doing a screenplay of it, but I don't know, I see where it goes. I can, I, it's got legs, I think it's got legs, and that, it's not me being big-headed, it's, it's, it's getting some decent reviews. Yeah, I mean, there's been lots of boxing films, but not really, uh, or boxing uh, books, but there hasn't been many sort of boxing crime books, have there? No, no, it's, it's, it's got that interest as well. It's, and, and yet, what, they, they, the, the two sort of, the crime and boxing have always gone hand in hand. Mm -hmm. you, you know, there's never far away from the, the underground's never far away from the boxing scene, no. and always has been back to the, the um, back to the days when the mafia ran the, the heavyweight boxing scene in America, to the gangsters over here, to the uh, oh, oh, you name it. it. It's always crime and, and boxing have always gone together. So it's not really been a sort of London-based that I know of thriller, boxing thriller um, novel. There's a lot of sort of boxing fans uh, on my channel, which is very kind of them to tune in and stuff. Um, do you have like particular boxing favourites yourself? Modern day, um, I yeah, I, I suppose I, Tyson Fury is a freak. He's, he's he's such a good boxer, six foot nine, and he fights like a middleweight. Um, yeah, I, I, I like a lot of modern day. My my genre was 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 well, my my era was back in the day was the Marvin Hagler's. Mm -hmm. um, the Tommy Earns, the Barry McGuigans, mm -hmm. the I like I like the young Amir Khan. I, I thought he was a brilliant to watch. Um, of course, Prince Nazim. Um, yeah, the older general. I, I, I liked it. The, Mike Tyson was a particular favourite. Quite pertinent he's fighting this weekend, but I won't be watching it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, 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 I like the classic old old fighters. Yeah, same here. And of course, you are a football fan as well. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And and that's not in this book. And I don't know. I should... Maybe that's the next one. It, it might well be the next one. The the the, the guy is he's a from an Irish family in Kilburn, and I couldn't bring it into football because that would mainly be sporting Ars Arsenal, and that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> no, no. Because I'm, I'm a big United fan. And, yeah. Uh, we yeah. spoke earlier, actually, and you know, I know this is going away from the book, but people will want to hear it anyway. We spoke earlier about our, our favourite player being George Best. Yeah, greatest of all time, mm -hmm. greatest player of all time, and what he could do with a ball in, in, in a foot of mud, with a, a defender trying to tackle him around the neck, mm -hmm. um, and be let get away with it. A Peter Story, Ron Harris, whoever was trying to chop him down, Norman Hunter, and still carry the ball and score. Yeah, it was, it, to me, was the greatest. Yeah, it'd be worth an absolute fortune now, when you, you, especially with the pitches, the way that they are. Yeah, 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 I, yeah they play on carpet now, they play on a bowling green now, mm. uh, with light boots, a light ball, and God knows what it'd be worth. And people people try and say, well, he, could, he, could he do it in this day? He'd do it on steroids in this day. He, he, he'd, be, he'd be far better than he was then. Oh, oh absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, my favourite goal, of course, was the, um, one against Chelsea at Old Trafford when Ron Harris tried to take him out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember seeing it on Sports Night with Coleman. Mm -hmm. um, it, and that was about a foot of mud. And mm -hmm. how George Best ended up even being able to walk when he got older, I don't know, for some of them tackles. They were, they were some of them. Yeah, yeah. Now well, they should get prosecuted for them. Yeah. So, so back to the book. Uh, where, where can they get the book? It's on Amazon. It's on Amazon uh, as a Kindle. Mm -hmm. um, or as a, a hardback, a hardback a paperback. Mm. So you can order it on Amazon. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's readily available. And I'm reliably informed that Amazon is the biggest bookstore in the world, but I prefer the old bookstore as I'm but this is the way it's all going, so. Yeah, so have, have you ever done a Kindle? Because, uh, you know, I know a lot of people out there haven't, you know, but uh, that is that is the thing now, isn't it? It's totally the thing. It, it's not for me. I like a book because I like, I like reading it and then at, at the end of it, if I like, I like giving it to someone else to read mm -hmm. and seeing what they thought of it, mm -hmm. you know, it, or going back for a book and, and it just, I just like it. It's probably my age and, and the way it is, but I just, I just like a book. Absolutely. So tell, tell us everybody again, the, the title of the book is? The book is called Beyond Any Reason yeah. by Tom Fairy. 
Fantastic. Well, I wish you great success with the book and uh, hope you. it all goes well. Very kind, thank you.